Blue Group, Jeff here. Today's video is going to talk a little bit about uh, black level, which is what's used in Melangamp Sky, and offset, which is kind of like the AP standard, and how uh, you need to use either the black level or the offset, depending on which uh, mode you're in, uh, based on how or where you have your gain setting. Because the two, gain and offset, are like brothers. One, when you move one, you've got to move the other. And uh, there's a great article by Dale uh, that was posted by him, I believe, that discusses offset and how... Um, is used with gain to keep you from clipping your blacks. And you don't want to clip your blacks because that's where the faintest photons are <laughs> or the fewest photons. And if you clip those before you even start, you're behind the eight ball. You'll never, you'll never ever get uh, that data back. So uh, what I would like to do is just, uh, I'll post the link to this article in the description uh, below this video, and you can read it for yourself. And then uh, I think it will give you a good handle on, on what uh, black level or offset is and how to use it. And in the interim, I will uh, fire up a remote desktop session here and uh, off to my right, your left, I have a mini PC that is connected to a DS24. And uh, I'm going to use that camera to show you uh, the effects of gain and offset and how it affects the histogram. So I will show two in two applications. The first one is going to be Nina because that's uh, the AP side, and then in Mellencamp Sky is the last one. So I'll fire up Nina. And in Nina, you always want to use the native driver, and the native driver is distinguished by Mellencamp. And then it will list whatever camera you have connected to the camera. That's the one you want. You do not want to use the ASCOM driver ever. <laughs> so I'm going to turn the camera on, turn off my face, and uh, you will see some information that's available to the camera or things that we can do to the camera, like cool the camera, we can warm the camera. And then these are the important ones. And offset and gain are usually, depending on the application, but they are usually right next to each other. So I will set the gain at uh, zero, or actually it's going to be 100 for this camera. You can see it's 100 to 1500, which in Mellencamp Sky would be remove the two zeros. And that will give you the same settings, 1 to 150. And then because I'm in 16-bit mode, I have 0 to 1984. So I will set the, the offset to 0. I'm just going to make sure that uh, in imaging, I have the debayer off. Yes, I do. So I will go to imaging. And I don't have the camera, I don't need the camera cooled to show you what offset does or how it, it shows up. So I'm just going to take a zero second exposure and we're looking for the camera noise in, in this. And you can see that this gave us a spike that is slammed up against the left. And I am clipping with this setting. So let's try and get the 
uh, let's move the histogram to the right so that we are no longer clipping data. So I'll do 192, which I believe is the default in Mellencamp Sky. We'll go back and we'll take another image. And you can see that the histogram moved, but it wasn't enough. So we got to go back. And I will do 300 and let's see what that does. Not much. Let's go back. Let's go to 500. Boom. I have a little gap and I now have the full histogram. And this is at zero gain. 100 and uh, with an offset of 500 and that gave me uh, a histogram that is no longer clipping and slammed up against the left side. So now let's add some gain. And I will use what I believe is unity gain for this camera, which is 4000. And I'm not going to change the offset and we'll go and take a picture. And what should happen is the histogram should spread out a little bit and move to the left. And it did, it spread out and moved to the left. Now it's, it's right on the edge of, and I'm probably clipping way down here, but I'm, I need a little more room in uh, my histogram. So I'm going to go to the offset and I'll make it 700 and let's see what that does. That's not quite enough. Let's do, let's do 900, really make a big move. And that's good. You can see there's a little hook that's where we were clipping. So now I have a histogram that's in the proper position to where if my camera was cooled, I could start making my darks and my calibration frames because I'm not clipping any data. And uh, as I add exposure, what will happen is it will spread out from here and not go further to the left unless I add more gain. So let's go and add some max gain. Max gain for this setup is 15,000. Oops. And let's see what happens. Now what should happen is the histogram should spread out and move back to the left. And it did. Actually, it didn't move too far. So let's do uh, let's make it a thousand and see what we get. Yeah, I like that. So I would go with this at max gain and then make my darks. And in the AP world, I don't near, need anywhere near as many darks as, as I do for EAA, uh, I only need for each uh, gain, I only need uh, a couple of exposures, maybe a 30 and a 60. I don't go much over a minute with this setup. It's a Raza setup, so uh, that's where I would be. So that's how you set up your offset in a program like Nina and where you uh, make those changes, which is right here. So I'm going to turn the camera off. I'll close the program. I'll open up Mellencamp Sky. And because the camera's running, it should be pretty warm. Or was running. And it is, so I'm going to cool it down. There's, there it is right there. So I'm going to start the cooler. And she'll be cooling down. 
And I'm going to do the same thing. You can see that at this, we'll do no gain. And I'm in video mode. And the lowest exposure time I can get is 0.1 seconds. And you can see that the same thing, the histogram is slammed up to the, the left side and I'm clipping data. I'm in 8-bit mode. Uh, so my scale is going to be one or zero to 31. So if I go and move this to the default, you can see that now I, my histogram is good. This gap is not a big deal based on, on this particular histogram. So I'm happy with this. If I open up the regular histogram, you'll see that I'm off the left side, which is good. That gives me some room to play with the black level. And uh, let's add some exposure. So I will go to 56. And you can see that the histogram has now opened up and moved to the left. But the three is good enough to keep the histogram from going so far left that I'm clipping data. So I'll go max gain now. And you can see that the histogram moves to the left and that I'm right on the edge of being good. So I would probably move this to four and then I would consider this good. So as you can see that whenever you move, whenever you do something with gain, you also have to do something with your offset. Now, uh, one of the things I didn't mention is that this camera has got the cover on it. And because the exposure is so short, we're basically uh, reading the camera's uh, uh, noise floor, noise floor, I think it's a good word for that. And uh, this is what you see here. And with a CMOS, these are very... Today's CMOS sensors, there's very little amp glow in these newer chips. Uh, this is a Sony uh, 410, IMX 410, and it is a beautiful chip. And as you can see here, even at max gain, I have very little noise in this in this data. Um, what I can show, I'll go to 50%, which is 75. Oops, out of range, 7,500, there we go. I will, excuse me, I'm still at point one. I'm in video mode. And now I want to change the bin levels. So I'm at bin two, let's go to bin one. And four is just maybe a little too much. So I would have to go maybe like a six at bin one. But when you when you change your binning levels, the histogram is going to move to the right big time. So I would be moving the offset to get the histogram back. Uh, maybe not quite that far. I think that the three is the default in Mellencamp Sky, and I believe that the three was based off of bin two and three, not bin one. So if I'm at bin one, I'm clipping data, as you can see right there. Or I'm sorry. I did the wrong one. If I go to bin one at a black level of three, I am clipping data and I would have to move my black level to four, five, probably six, and start doing my exposures for my black or my darks uh, at that uh, level. And then as the gain goes up, it's going to move to the right. Well, that's not too bad. I might go to eight. Yeah, that's what I would do. So I hope this gives you a uh, a good feel for what the offset 
does in relation to gay. The two are in a marriage. And if you don't pay attention to one of them, namely the black level, you, you could get bit because you, you don't want to clip any blacks because that's where the fewest photons come in. And uh, if you start clipping those, then your chances of getting as much data as you possibly can on any given night goes down. So if you have any questions, you know where I live. I'd like to thank Dale again. Uh, I will post a link below this video in the description. And if uh, you have, again, if you have any questions, you know where I live. Talk to you later. And see you on the group.